First, let's get right to developing news. A crash on the commuter rail. More than 50 people are hurt when an MBTA train collides with a boxcar. Now an investigation is underway. The Pinpoint News Tracker showing you just where it happened in Canton. And now the accident is forcing service to be suspended completely along the entire track from Boston all the way to Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau is live on the scene in Providence tonight with developing details. No doubt a big, big glitch in the plan for many travelers. Investigators are trying to figure out what left this runaway boxcar on the tracks. That's where the impact happened, and it was felt for anyone who was trying to get into or out of Boston on the Stoughton-Providence line. As these two passengers cared for two other passengers lying in stretchers, EMTs rushed victims up a dirt road and into ambulances that parked in this Canton neighborhood. About 10 passengers and crew members were transported to Norwood area hospitals, some with broken bones, others with cuts and bruises. About 50 passengers and crew members reported minor injuries. Meanwhile, the crash rippled from South Station in Boston all the way into Providence, where a half dozen trains were delayed. Here at the South Attleboro Station, passengers stranded in Boston paid as much as $150 in cab fare to get home to the Providence area. We were getting um, email messages on our cell phones, so we knew there'd been an accident. We knew it was a bad one and it was going to be a long wait, so we just got right off and... Um, started looking for cabs. Some people were going to South Station and taking a bus the rest of the way, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to get to South Station only to find that there were no bus tickets left. Investigators say this boxcar loaded with building supplies had broken free from another train and was moving toward the Amtrak line as it headed toward Canton. With about 100 passengers on board, the engineer stopped his train, but before he could get the engine into reverse, there was the impact. And of course, the big question is, where did the runaway boxcar come from and why was it on the tracks heading toward the Amtrak train? Those answers, we hope, are coming later tonight or perhaps in the next few days. For now, we're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Providence. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this commuter rail crash. We are going to have the very latest on Eyewitness News at 11 over on WPRI 12. And then stay tuned for Eyewitness News this morning starting at 5 a.m. And you can always find the latest anytime at foxprovidence.com.